go live and we are live hello ladies and gentlefolk to all the viewer that is watching welcome oh so to mute mute boss quiet shut up what the hell is this on speaker we go solved all right oh, damn it i forgot to shave off the mustache today god tired anyway wait it didn't load are we streaming all right there we go all right well, let's see where we were at let's see where we left off I seem to remember, um, I think I stopped a little early the last time I was playing the other day. Yeah, I wasn't feeling great. Still not 100%, as you can tell probably from the old voice, but uh, definitely on the mending, mending side of things. The mending side of things. Right, so I think we're supposed to go and pick up this idiot. But I remember, I remember. We wanted this guy to be level 4, so he's 340 XP away. I am a little tempted to just... Uh, pop some ambushes, really. Don't want to mess with that. Let's fight. A couple of ambushes will get us that 340 XP. The thing is... Well thing is yeah we definitely for an adventure. we definitely need it basically if we are to uh successfully oops should have popped the shield first of course like true smooth brainer oh we have the con belt we may as well throw it on her um yeah so before we do tristian's area we really want to make sure that we have glitter dust on this fella and uh, i just realized that we didn't actually spec into Conjuration at all, which is probably a mistake, actually. Uh. Actually, oh, what? A medium fire elemental? Really? Oh. What is this? Since when? Pre cast this just in case. Pop that. Alright. Pop the true strike. Shoot the shit out of it. Dumpy. Wait, no. Hold. Without a doubt. Go, sir. Front line. Would be cool if you could actually give these a number. All right, that's how we do. Maybe I, uh, maybe I overdid it a little bit. On the other hand, mm. better safe than sorry. We don't have any fire um, protection scrolls or what have you available at the moment to us or spells. Because the good old harem has kicked the bucket. He has kicked the proverbial bucket and is therefore not with us, and therefore we don't have cleric spells at the moment. Alright, so what's the plan really? Let's see how many um, rations we have. Order this according to weights. Yeah, so we, may, we should probably go back to Oleg, pick up some rations, anywho. All right, no, that's not the abandoned hut. We definitely did clear the abandoned hut. The old abandoned hut. And... Yeah, well, we may as well snooze since we're here. They did increase the time of the snoozers. Look at this, 46 days. I'm usually, like, close to finishing Act 1 by this time. 
I don't like that they did that. That change is so unnecessary. Like, really, why make a horrible mechanic more horrible? Like, that, I truly don't understand from the guy who made Call of the Wild. It's just silly. There's no point. And I'm not even sure if it lists it in the changes, because I'm sure I would have noticed that change if I... I mean, I read them. But I didn't didn't notice it. But then again, I read them as in I scrolled through them all. I'm just thinking like for this run, it might be clever to pick up some of these uh, communal protection sc scrolls. Just in case we pop something like that again. Well, we definitely want to resist. Uh, I guess we'll come back before that time, though. And we want to save our money in case we need to resurrect anyone. Right, let's just pick up our items. Sup, Johan? Feel like you've seen this before? Yeah, I wonder why, sir. I wonder why. Nice to see you, though. Hope you're doing well. Pick up. All right, 16. The perfect amount. Calculated. Whoops, misclicked. But uh, yeah, we're trying with the uh, with the new mod. I don't know. Ah, if... Hey, hey thanks for the follow, Mr. Public Access. Nice to see you, sir. Hope you're enjoying so far. So far, so good. Today, I guess. No deaths yet. But the evening is young. Let's try to avoid a mansion stream today, boys. But uh, the AI mod definitely changes the way we play, and uh, it's. Makes, makes me a lot more careful and uh, terrified of every encounter actually which is a good thing and a bad thing but the thing so the things that i don't like you're not a big mod guy yeah fair enough you you know the only reason that i installed call of the wild is because i wanted to play with the ai mod um and i'm not a fan of adding like every single thing that's in pmp to the game it's not really necessary for me like the change that i was just talking about like increase, increasing the rest times on a game that is so heavily reliant on uh, timers. And, you know, timers are quite a shitty mechanic in general to begin with. Like, it's not, not a fun mechanic. Let me put it that way. Uh, necessarily. Especially if it's your first time playing the game. So, I don't, I don't understand what the purpose is of increasing the rest time. From the, like... We should gather our strength. From Call of the Wild perspective so this fella not even close to level hmm well there's a couple of frogs that we can kill and let's see what what xp we're at after that encounter but in general um my plan or what i'm doing is i'm trying to limit myself to classes that will be in wrath of the righteous i think that's fair enough like we can say that we're preparing for wrath we'll have some builds ready We'll kind of know, you know, we'll recognize, oh, sup evil, good evening, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand the point, basically. I mean, it's probably a PMP thing, right? Like, the rest cannot be shorter than 16 hours or whatever, but it's a computer game. It's not necessary that everything is one-to-one -one translated. We will, we will still play DD Archer. In Wrath, we will see, I'm not sure. Thing is, uh, the DD Archer is going to be heavily reliant on fire damage, and uh, I don't I think shield. fire damage will be very good in Wrath. Unless there's, like, ways to uh, transmogrify our... Uh... Oh, shoot, we have to get this cutscene first. Our elemental damage type. Like, uh, if we can change our elemental damage type, then it'll still work. But um, if not, then... Then the DD Archer is going the way, the way of the many extinct creatures, uh, you know, throughout Earth's, Earth's history. But evil, is Call of the Wild like? Does it change the duration of rests? Because I was just complaining about that, and I do love complaining. Because it seems to me that the rests are much longer than uh, normal. Look at this. I'm already down. To, I mean, I'm resting more. In general, right? But I also feel like the rest timers are increased in Call of the Wild for whatever reason. Is it sun in your window still? What time is it now? It is sun in my window. It is now 
uh, 8.17 p.m. But in fact, should turn on the light. Let me just, uh, this is not safe for work. So we just need to, hold on, boys. One second. All right. And I'm back. That was, that was an, an SFW, boys. Because uh, not much behind or below this t-shirt. I'll, uh, I'll be honest. It's pretty warm. Right, yeah, the rest at Olegs, because I've been going back to Oleg, and I noticed that the time for the rest at Olex is doubled, as opposed to what it normally is. So I don't really understand the reason for that, really. Keep your wits about <clears> you. <throat> but I guess we'll take it. I mean, we don't really have a choice. But uh, the days are long, but nothing like a northern northern European long. It's gonna it's gonna get dark soon. So it gets dark here before nine for sure. Whereas up in the north, where I am from, it'll be light until eleven probably eleven p.m. ten thirty. Give the order. Right, to cast that, good and larger Mary. Stop learning. Mm. All right. Pop that. Might as well pop the bless. I don't really think we need to pop the true strike. Let's go. Oh, no. Hold, hold. They can charge now. All right, looking good, looking just like it should. Perfect. Damn it, though. Now we have to fight the wolves. Oh, the wolf fights. Not a fan without without the glitter dust, but hmm. Hey, we just just close for an altogether different strategy. Let's actually spend a true strike here. Why not? How long is left on a bless? Twenty-two seconds. Let's pop that as well. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that, considering that maybe my true strike will run out. But let's go. You've made your choice. Share your will. To victory. No, 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 no. This is bad. Ouch. I got tripped on my main character here. This is particularly lethal obviously no, it comes to this one more magic missile left to brute force. i should have precast 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 expeditious retreat but good thing i actually did okay good they're yeah, probably taking a hard concealment penalty there or whatever it's called Cover, hard cover penalty. All right, Thumpy has nothing left. Let's go. This body holds no more. Get him. Nice. All right, I think that's about too bad. Oh man, I really was hoping he would get a level from those. The, the boar <clears throat> in this area is truly a boar. He's a thing. So I'm actually a little worried that we're going to run out time-wise. Considering the amount of resting we still have to do. 
Although, uh, we should probably be fine. We we only have the old Sycamore left after this, really. And like a, one or two side areas. So yeah, so how much does he have left? 150. There are some energy conversions. Yeah, there is an energy conversion in uh, this game, but it's two fire, so... Uh, that wouldn't be too good in Wrath. I mean, the only reason I'm saying that is because I know that demons in PMP have uh, have a lot of fire resistance in general. And yeah, there are a lot of well, a lot. There are a couple of ranged of ranged touch spells or ray spells that aren't fire though that are still in the uh, Eldritch Archer spellbook. There might be a lot of there might be a lot better. Well, acid's always good. Like, Acid Arrow is also a ranged touch attack that we could use, and then we just go Acid Dragon. But still, the Acid Arrow damage is pretty pathetic compared to Scrotching Ray. Wait, did I just rest? Did I or did I not just rest? I think we did. Are we going to fight this thing, or are we going to get this guy 150 XP? I'm kind of tempted to try and pop, like, uh, fire users are always screwed. Yeah, well, in general, it's the most common element, right? For damage and for resistance, so. But in uh, Pathfinder, or sorry, in Kingmaker, it's not a big problem. Gotta take the Lonely Troll. Hmm. Not sure if that's good advice. If that is well-intentioned advice, Mr. Village. Despicable. Oh. Sly eye. Queer eye for the sly guy. Get him, Jason. Fuck. Alright. Yeah, I did do Manticore, did I not? I did not do Manticore. I really thought I killed him. Oh, I did. I gave Jason the belt for whatever reason. For a mysterious reason. I guess a firebrand troll. Yeah, okay, that's not going to work out that well. But if you go like fire kineticist, um, dipping into thug isn't too bad. And then at least you can still do the dazzling display stuff, which isn't so bad. How much XP was that? Like 20? 30. <laughs> Uh, that's four more ambushes. I'm not sure if I can be bothered with this. Uh, well, fire gets uh, free dazzling and stuff, right? So you don't need to pick up um, whatever the feats are called. Uh oh. Let's try and let's fight this. Yeah, Dazzling Display Bot for the of Troll Trouble isn't great, probably. But still, you know, Dazzling powers. Display is pretty good. It's a pretty strong Don't debuff. Right, maybe we're not engaged, so actually cast that. And wear that. We can actually do a little bit of buffage. Make this fight a little easier. Whoops. Oh yeah, of course I have mage armor on her. I am yours to command. If we really need to. Alright, you can pop that. Pop that on. Cat, kitty cat. You prefer to well, dirge is definitely better. But I mean it's the early game, right? And you won't have dirge by that point, uh, I think, no matter what, really. State your desire. Uh, well, level 8 you can I'm get, so if you have like a pure bard, order. maybe Onwards. you can actually have dirge. If you have like you stand a bard with me. no dips. Alright, dumpy. Oh. Okay. Man, that's... Gonna require... I mean, that's actually... We're getting there. Linzer's OP. Yeah, Linzer's is OP. You heard it here first, boys. Linzer's OP. Gather all strength. All right, let's go for snoozy woozy because uh, wow, we're burning through our rations. Maybe I, I should have a look at the the rolls because failing so much hunting's 
A little annoying. <clears> hmm. <throat> Pardon me, boys. Still not 100%, as you may have noticed. Yeah, so I think we'll actually try and pop a couple more ambushes. You know... One minute to hunt plus eight? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so it's just the rest of Oleg's that are nerfed, but I don't understand what the reason is, because... Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, making a crappy mechanic more crappy is not, not like... I don't know. It just doesn't seem necessary. Yeah, I mean... I, and I guess it's a PNP thing as well. Just, you just a be. guess, though. Alright, no pre-buffing this time, though. That's a bummer. Oh, great. Yeah, of course, these guys are... Oh, they're just normal Skullish soldiers, though. Would have actually preferred a red skeleton here. More XP. So what's he at now? Oh, man. So 20 XP per counter. We've got 80 left. Still four encounters, damn it. Well, I still think this is the way to go. To fight that leopard. It's probably not the smartest move, though. That leopard is actually a mature leopard. Oh, you know what we could do? We could kill the bandits here. <clears throat> that should be all right. Like all right. Coach, you build do die to Mandragoran swarms. I, uh, the only way I that I found to, to deal with Mandragora swarms is to kite them. Box. You'll have to mass kite them with haste and uh, just don't him. don't engage them and blast them with whatever you have with quickened magic rods, quickened spells, and then run. Quickened spell and then run like fireballs, I think. But it's been a while, to be honest. You cheese them? How did you cheese them, sir? Tell me. I mean, if that's considered cheese, then uh, I'll cheese them too. <clears throat> yeah, that's silly. I should have thought of this earlier. Based on the kineticist, Mandra Karen swarms. <laughs> exactly. Ah, there's also some traps here, I believe, so... I should have thought of this earlier. That's silly. Wasted a lot of time resting for nothing. I'm actually a teeny weeny bit worried that we might not uh, make the time timer. Because the old sycamore, I mean, the old tree part itself, you still got to do that, and... Uh, yeah, it's going to be tricky. All the party on the other side of the map, yeah, I see. Alright, let's cast an enlarge on the Mary. No, that's definitely true. But when we get to that point of the game, my meta knowledge is severely lacking. Once we get to chapter 4 or 5... Up to, like, Vordekai, I kind of know pretty well. After that, I've only completed the game in, like... A handful of runs, not evil. You mean here, Billy? You mean here? Ah! Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see. If we come into time trouble, then uh, that's true. I don't need to clear it out fully. That's absolutely true. Never stop learning. But, yeah, I kind of feel like the XP is quite important. But we'll see what our XP is at that time. At that point. Speak. I mean, ideally, we'd get level 6 on one or two characters before the old uh, stag lord. Oh, she failed. Oh, yeah, of course, she's wearing a... Uh, yeah, wow, she failed again. Come on, you can do it, Jason. Uh, Gotta be effing kidding me, man. You have my attention. Learn how to use it first. Rovogog was, yeah, Rovogog is in fact the hardest fight in the game. He is harder than the the old Lantern King. 
that wise. Unexpected result. That is possible. The loot is pretty nice from him though. Your so you granted. you'd hope to or you'd want to do him before the end game, but uh, it's not always possible. Easier said than done. Bonus level one spell. Well, why not? Yeah, we'll stick with magic missile for now. Ah, we could pick mage armor. That's good. Let's do that. Soon as shroud lifted, kill him in two to three turns. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I mean, you know, if you're fully, fully buffed, you can get rid of him pretty quickly. Or, I mean, get rid of him. Kill him. Bring him down to nothing. Problem is, Billy did not spec into conjuration at whatsoever. But you know what? Screw it. Your oh, she filled that trap. Alright, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Let's take this fight. Let's do some, uh... Wait. Is it smart? Uh, it's probably fine. Right? Right? Alright, let's go. Share your will. I am your shield. Yeah, but uh, the quick. Well, let's see how it goes. He wa yeah, he's not immune to sneak. I think he just has, like, uh, damage resistance in general, right? Okay, perfect. Yeah, Kineticist is definitely strong by that point in the game. One might even say OP. One might go so far as to say Kineticist OP. Alright. Mission accomplished. Hmm. Alright, guess we're not going to pop that last trap. At that uh, level, can I OP because it's broken? Yeah, every trick is twice. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. And it's... Um, it's basically a better... What's the spell I'm thinking of? Sirocco. Basically. If you have Bowling Infusion... It's the best everything. Yeah, it really is. Which is a little silly. I wonder if they're gonna nerf uh, Kineticists in... Uh, in Wrath. They kind of deserve to get hit hard with a nerf hammer. But probably not. I don't think getting hit with a nerf hammer is a thing though, boys. Billy's a little confused there. I think things can only get hit by a bad hammer. They don't need to nerf, they just need to fix the double damage bug. Yeah, that's true. But considering that they haven't managed to fix that in two years in Kingmaker, and they directly porting the engine for Wrath, I'm gonna bet that they haven't fixed that either in Wrath. I think there's something like deeply flawed, like or you know something very. It must be something very difficult to fix. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Because otherwise, they would have fixed it already. But even that won't be like um, that won't balance them. Let me put it that way. No, I don't want to get ambushed now. We should gather our strength. Oh my lord! One, two, three. Alright, I think there's only a couple coming from the front. That's what she said. Um, come on. Why are you just standing there? No! 
Okay, she got knocked out. That's good. But why the hell was she just standing there? That makes no no sense. Should have popped this, to be honest. They go down. Advance. <laughs> Damn it, who got crits? That's good. So it comes to me. All right, I think we managed. Oh, that was close, boys. We got lucky that we didn't get crits. When we stop. Little uh, awkward positioning there. They are in the upper end of the terms of... Yeah, they are in the upper end of the spectrum. Um, I mean, you know, you can easily solo the game with a level 12, or what is it, 13 cannon assist, once you get to that point. Like, you don't need anything else in your party, or anyone else, for that matter. There aren't many builds that can do that, other than kineticists. Maybe some kind of sorcerer. But the uh, thing is, Kinesis can do it an endless amount of times, and a sorcerer is still limited by the amount of spell casts per day, right? Plus the pretty mediocre spell level progression. Oh, nice. We actually got our upgraded animal. Our manimal, the animal, is back. Let's go for a perception. We're done with mobility. Tough skin. So we can insult him all we want, and he won't take offense. Am I right? Look at that. Okay, that's totally pointless, of course, because he's going to wear... Or he's going to uh, get... Or have Mage Armor cast on him. But... Like, once we can equip a Ring of Deflection... You know, that's going to be nice. Oh, wait. No, he can't wear a ring. Well, still, like, Bracers of AC plus 6... Gonna be nice. Dex belt, pretty good. Don't need to cast cast grace. Armor of natural amulet of natural armor, pretty nice. Basically means you don't need jubilost. Even a cloak for saves, silly. And why would they get a helmet slot? Like what? How does that even make sense? Doesn't matter much because it's mostly mental stats. So the helmet. Still cast bark skin on him? Sure. Oh, I see. You want to give them the amulet of mighty fisting. That makes sense. They are un are oh well, they are unarmed, so they get a bonus from that. One shouldn't brag about a big sword if they can right, Let's do that. Do this and that. Why are you in the front, Mr. Dumpy? What happened here? What happened here? That's actually good to know because we'll we'll get one from fighting the wolves, right? That'll be pretty decent for us. I'm up for an adventure. Ooh, eight casts. That seems like a lot. We always get that many. Someone annoys you, you either pray or polish your armor. Oh, it is why my armor Keep your as it does. About you. All right, let's quick cast that. And that. Why? Done with waiting. Here I cannot move her where I want her to go. Okay, there. Does anyone require my counsel? Let's go. The undead is such a privilege. Submit. Uh, he's going to get hit by one or two attacks of opportunity, right? With his stupid charge. This Never mind. Oh, please don't die, Mary. Okay, he. Change targets for whatever reason. I'll take it. Wretched things. Guess we should just make make it a sure thing and magic missile him. 
<laughs> Must have that uh, trait where you keep on fighting after you get negative hit points because it looked like he was below zero there. What that would want? explain uh, why he mm -hmm. continues fighting. All boars have that. Okay. Today I learned another learning stream. The boar is an orc, exactly. It's a half orc boar. Half orc, half boar. Um, Alright, let's see. Pop that back on. I can't believe we haven't found a breastplate yet. It is what it is, I guess. How long is left on that? 51 seconds? I think we'll recast that. Yeah, well. I'm listening. She can't. Let's try to fight it quickly. It's going to be fighting uh, Tristian, isn't it? I need to concentrate. Yeah, we need to apple strike this thing. I think that's the only real solution here. The solution to everything. No lizard? No familiar. No, okay, I guess we have the cat. Let's go for the charge. Done with waiting. You can do the dress in the pool now? Uh, yeah, we can, but she's fine. It's all right. Too late. Famous last words. Yeah. Not sure if that's the move, to be honest. Yeah. He's charging. He's not charging anymore. She should have been singing from the start. So one more magic missile uh, cast and should be alright, I think. Nice. You got pretty low reflection. I could have, I should have breached it. Yeah, you're right. I swear. A Saren. I have never spoken to. Right. Let's turn on XP sharing before he joins us. I be praise be you are very I was investigating please wait thank you nice mm spam has turned out to be very good indeed yep very good indeed for really done the other I was thinking of adding a point of intent you see it tear on a mirror to get combat expertise but dipping one point into brawler makes it unnecessary ah uh, yep yeah well you know I can't say that I haven't made similar mistakes myself you know uh, one such Famous mistake dipping into skilled fists with seven charisma. I mean, that would be pretty dumb, right? Who would do that? This guy. This guy right here. Right, should we? What could we use it for? Hunting, right? Mostly, I guess. Perception, pretty decent. Does he need persuade? Not really. In case we need him to cook. Alright, let's sort sort out his uh, spell book. Pick two of those. Don't really feel like anything has changed much as far as cleric spells go. Command. What's the hit dice limit? Oh. Only a will save, huh? Doesn't seem to have a hit dice limit. That's pretty nice. What is it? Enchantment. Hmm. I mean, in, in Baldur's Gate, that spell was OP. And as you guys know, everything that's good in Baldur's Gate, Billy thinks is still good in Kingmaker. That's that's how I build my... Uh, or how I make my, my strategy. Uh, command. Language dependent. Well... I hope Tristan speaks troll. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, let's go for the delayed poisons. How many do we need? Probably two. And a... Mm, what else? Do we have any more spells here? Ooh, let's see. Animate that lesser. The lesser boys. Bone fists. Hmm, can't say I'm not interested in that. 
Incredible. Weapon of all. Plus two bonus damage rolls in the weapon. Shake and form with no saving throw. This is a mind effect. Okay. Seems all right. These are actually a little more a little more interesting. Wonder how good this is. Spoke turns corpse into undead skeletons that obey you. They remain animated until they're destroyed. The destroyed skeleton can't be animated again. You can't create an undead with more hit dice than twice your caster level. All right. The undead you create remain under your control no matter how many times. Evil. Diamond Dust 3. It's a little pricey if you ask me. They last a while, don't they? Yeah, 10 minutes a level. I know, we just need something like anything that can give us a chance. I mean, I kind of tempted to take this, but we don't have Diamond Dusts at the moment. Doesn't that are pretty strong, though? Yeah, I heard. Burst of Radiance has been really nice for you. Where is that? Oh, here it is. Spell has creatures in the area. Blinded for one... Now, that is very good. Reflex partial. It's only a partial save as well. All right, let's go. We don't have Diamond Dust, so there's no point to take the uh, Animate Dead right, right away. Both this and Airway that gives plus one natural armor that stacks. I was thinking of the right spell. Okay, I'll have a peek at both this as well. Because having a plus one natural armor bonus to every, to every one is pretty nice. Let's read Bone Fists. Bone Fisting, boys. The bones of your target joints grow thick and sharp protruding. The target has plus one bonus natural armor, plus two bonus on damage rolls with natural weapons. So that's good for my... Uh, Leopard. It's a plus one bonus to natural armor. It's kind of nice for the early game. But it's not the hugest of deals. I think this is a better disable, to be honest. Friend and foe alike. Evocation. Hey, evocation. We could spec into evocation, actually, with him. Maybe it's not so bad. Burst Rage is also divine damage spell. The damage is unavoidable if evil one goes 50% more damage than that. Oh, that's kind of useful. Yeah, there are a couple of nasty skellies in uh, the old Sycamore. Now, the question is, do we actually bother with this fight? I think this is going to be very deadly. I think we're just going to go on a merry way here and leave the troll for what he is for now. Uh, we'll start clearing out the old Sycamore. The Lonely Troll? Oh, you mean uh, the ones that I meant? Like in the old Sycamore on the lower level, there's a couple of skeleton fights. And um, the one with where you have to step, like press the three uh, triggers at the same time, that one is can, can be a little annoying. Man, we're out of rations already. What's that time limit? 35 days, boys. It is going fast. But I think we should be absolutely fine. Like, we literally only have the old Sycamore to clear. And then, yeah. We'll see. We'll see if we manage to get to level 5. If we do get to level 5, then maybe we can kill the troll. Let's just snooze right away. Can't be bothered with running through this weather. No bueno. I'm not sure. Maybe we fight the troll. Yeah, we will fight him after the old Sycamore. All right. Let's also not forget to return this quest. Uh, it's John here. Yes, sir. You rust as far as I know, as you wish. Go. Let's hang on to this for now, though. Still. Um, protection from electricity, communal. Resist electricity communal. No, no, not protection communal. We need just protection. Maybe we'll even go... No, we'll just go with one for now. What other... We need fire. We need two of those for the kobolds. Maybe even three. 
Man, that's so pricey. 3 XP? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. How much is diamond dust? Oh, it's only 50. Oh, it's quite cheap, actually. Let's go. Maybe it's not a bad idea to have some boys fight for us. If we want to. Did I return the fangberries? Yeah, I did. Okay. Non-restocking merchants. But... I mean, only unique items don't restock. Most other items do restock, don't they? Oh, wait! All the consumables don't restock. Yeah, that's true. But I've never actually run into problems uh, running out of consumables. What kind of merchants? Yeah, they're pretty crappy merchants, Mr. Village. I'll give you that. Can't bother to fight this right now. All right. So, <laughs> for the sake of mission, he still sells you overpriced items. Wait, is Drop the one that rips you off? Because I know one of the merchants literally has like twice, well, it's like one and a half times the prices than the other ones for whatever reason. It's definitely one of the cleric, mer uh, cleric merchants. To not rest just to remove fatigue and exhaustion? I mean, um, in the late game, you definitely want to stock up on uh, on the scrolls of like freedom of movement, uh, mass heal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think Jod is the cheaper one. The other cleric is a ripoff. But I know that one of them is a ripoff. Because it's the easiest way to heal Mr. Village. Uh, the quickest. And you don't need to spend uh, spell slots on it, on your cleric. An and also for the freedom of movement, you don't really want to be spending your level 4 spell slots on uh, freedom of movement if you can avoid it. Because there's better spells. Healing is for pussies? Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I wouldn't do spawn without healing uh, mass heal scrolls, really. Actually, we don't need bless here. That's just silly. Does anyone require my What's counsel? They are the young. I am your shield. All right. Uh, I'm listening. Let's pop that on. Real men kill their enemies with their bare hands or a dagger the size of a toothpick without taking damage. Fair enough. I am your if that man. is what the definition is of a man. I am definitely not one of those. Oh, damn it. Where's where's this idiot? Right there. Okay, now our party formation is becoming more, more intriguing. <laughs> That's why you play Monk. Yeah, fair enough, Kaizero. So Kaizero is a real man here, boys. According to Mr. Village's criteria, there's only one real man among us. So we'll nick that off him and we'll pop it off uh, pop it on Christian here, our boy. That way he doesn't wander into combat. Uh we may as well pop this as well on Valerie. I think we're going for a Miri. Other than that, we're pretty fine. Put the finger over here, the fist over there, channel like so. Alright, get rid of that and that. And alright, let's go. So, fully buffed. Actually. So we need to pop a resist fire here, probably. The move. I know mystic theology. Probably the play. Let's go. And that's a Mary? I mean, oh, because she's a woman, gotcha. But a Mary cannot go into Monk, so she cannot be a real man or woman. In Baldur's Gate, the companion quests would change their alignments. Not not in Pathfinder, for whatever reason. I don't think it would have been so bad. Oh, he's gonna charge, isn't he? Who's he charging? Okay, let's wait there. Valerie. Or Jaisal. Why did I call Jaisal Valerie? 
Okay, Dumpy, maybe hang on to these. Let's not spend them. Like they're free. Alright. Oh, Reggie and Octavian? Oh yeah, true, you're right. Reggie does change alignment, doesn't he? He becomes chaotic neutral. So much better. Like, uh, I guess... Who's a chaotic neutral character that we would know from a movie or a book? Or a game. Like, such a weird alignment. Does Valor stop being lawful lawful? I don't think so, k -Zero. I think she becomes even more lawful. Valigar. Nah, I think Valigar is good aligned. I was thinking from Baldur's Gate, the only one that I can think of is Saman Haverian. I think Saman Haverian is chaotic neutral. Uh, we need the finger. Here we go. There's the finger. Yeah, you like it. The undead booty likes the finger, boys. How curious. I'm listening. You have my attention. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> oh, come on. My tricks don't work on you. <laughs> That's a shame. Because in order for them to work, it would imply that you had a mind, Mr. Village, and we all know the dark truth. About you, good sir. All right, result. all done. Request. Ergothoa guides me. Ergothoa couldn't guide a wet noodle into a hungry mouth. State your desire. Your all right. Granted. <laughs> Picture ways on you. Yeah, I ain't no Jedi Master. I'm sorry. You have my attention. I'm so bad at doing voices. I, I wanted to do that uh, from the Phantom Menace. What's that alien's species name? Forget the one that the doesn't the mind tricks don't work on him. But then he's stupid and enough to throw some control. dice and think that the Jedi can't control the dice. So dumb. You're like, oh, that's a clever alien. Oh no, he's just another idiot alien. Makes no sense. <laughs> I'm sorry about that speed tech. Wet noodles are important though. <laughs> Alright. Finger time. And let's do that. Let's go. Nice. She seemed disappointed. Full party. Just realized actually. Party of six down here. First for everything, I guess. Watch the true power of the Draconic Archer boys. Oh, never mind. Oh. Come on, what are we rolling? A four? Fine, we can miss that. And a six. Okay, fine. Touche. No luck, I guess. Never, never rocky. Never bloody rocky. Don't really want to spend a grease here, though. If I'm entirely honest. Oh, I forgot to enlarge a Miri. Not the end of the world. Quail! Quail! Nira is chaotic neutral, but Nira is Nira, and for just that fact alone, we cannot take her in a party ever. Or are you one of those weird people who enjoyed the beam dog stuff? Like, I think. I actually think um, it had some potential, right? Although. They retconned a, a lot of uh, Iranicus and stuff, which didn't make sense, but, you know, Your be that as it may, I think there wasn't any reason for a campaign right between the two Boulder's Gates. But then again, it's difficult to think of a place where it would have been good. Result. Using a large archer with minus two penalties is a Magus thing, but you don't like Magus melee thing? Yeah, because the Magus melee thing uh, means that the strength buff doesn't apply. I mean... You know, when your offhand is full, you don't get the 1.5 strength modifier that you get when you two-hand a weapon. And that is going to do way more damage than one extra iterative attack. Just do the math. 
because that strength bonus is added to every attack that you already have. So it outscales the one one attack quite quickly. It's just better. Unless uh, you're doing a dex based build, in which case that doesn't uh, apply. But for a strength based build, you, you don't want to be doing um, uh, whatever it's called, bulk combat in general. Yeah, attack bonus is quite uh, easy to get for archers, which is another reason. The thing with this build is that it lacks attack bonus early, which is kind of... that does kind of hurts. I'll admit, that's not, not great. But um, by the mid-game, that's all sorted out relatively easily. There's this level in the Tenebrius Depth with the plus four attack bonus bracers. I hear they're unguarded and quite easy to get, so we'll be going there shortly. As soon as it unlocks. What? Uh, I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. I'll just have to resort to brute force. Alright. Definitely uh, shouldn't have moved my archer back there. Gave it space to charge. There's another level lower down with a huge gold chest in an empty room. Ooh. Wonder what could be in there. Alright, let's go for a channel. Two more channels, doesn't he? Man, the baby boy is going nuts. I'm feeling super guilty sitting here. Well, okay, we'll give it a little bit. If my wife asks for help, though, I will be summoned away, perhaps. Well, we'll see how it goes. Alright, let's pop on an armor. Um, throw up a blessing. Actually, it's just some more hooters, isn't it? Really? I'd be too afraid here, I think. Okay. Christian and him are quite similar. Similar looking. What a surprise. Okay. No, we cannot disarm that. The baby is the last boss, definitely, guys. The last boss in life. Actually, small baby, small problems. Big baby, big problems, right? I think that's very true. So I, I don't think we've had the worst of it yet, boys, unfortunately. <laughs> I can deal with a bit of crying. When, when he starts asking for money, that's when it becomes a problem, right? Alright, that went pretty well. Don't think I should have spent a magic missile, but I guess we did. Oh, whoopsies. Save him. So it comes to this! All right. Um, we need to enlarge a Mary, actually. So I'm waddling around, trying to get into melee range. So he's asking, that's not bad. He could just pick your wallet. That's true. That's true. If he's polite enough to ask, that's a good sign, I guess. All right. You have my attention. Right here, my friend. Request. The other two the MMGs, that's why you're getting low on days. It's true, but now he gets eight casts, so that's pretty nice. It's, yeah, I know, I had it on all the casts. Definitely, definitely a mistake, though. Does anyone require I, I didn't realize. Speak. I should have. Why are you running off there? What's the formation? Not fine. Please don't trigger. Okay. I'm listening. Share your will. Let's get rid of this thing. Nice. Okay, wow. We actually disarmed them all without popping a web for a change as well. That's pretty nice. We'll take it. So how long is left on this? Four minutes. Four minutes. Okay. Well, let's make use of that. Mm. Oh, we should have bought an acid one for the spitting centipedes, centipads. 
How long is this book? Two minutes. Yep. You cannot right. stand Next rest me. will uh Did she shoot? A three and a four, right. Makes sense. But I'm definitely feeling like uh, we're getting the hang of the AI mod here. And in the end, it's uh, it's actually pretty fun. I definitely like that we have to fiddle with the formations, think a bit more about it. Did find out how to salvage Pataxian slut? Wait, who is the Pataxian slut? Oh, wait, is that Octavia? She is Pataxian, isn't she? Oh, Lindsay. Mm. Let's see. Well, she can hit one. No, she cannot hit one. A four and a six. Okay, I guess we just can't roll higher than a six. Apparently. That's the limit of our roll here. She's not going to lie. <laughs> Is she really? <laughs> I mean, at least it's, you know, for a good cause. You see that? Confide in me. State your desire. D6 is 72. It looks like it's speed tech. It really does look like it. I mean, that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 attacks in a row, not higher than a 6. It's a little strange to me. That's why I say pseudo random, guys, for a computer game. You don't need random. Pseudo random is absolutely fine. Way more fun. And it's like. Um, Oddswise is exactly the same. It's not weighted. Pseudo random isn't weighted. It just means that the chances of rolling the same number twice in a row become progressively less. But the actual chances aren't changed, if you get what I'm saying. Way better for a computer game. But anyway, besides the point. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. I am yours to command. Go dirt with lingering performance and everything is great. That's true. Then attack bonus doesn't matter anymore. I'm up for an adventure. Speak. Um. Uh, actually, I think we just hang back. Let's see if she can't hit something now. But let's give her every chance that she can get. That's the way you get one to six. <laughs> That's true. I see what you mean. Rebooter is actually a very nice class, but it's it's quite micro intensive. I played one in the uh, when I was doing the uh, Barnold's Lot stream. I quite enjoyed the uh, the freebooter though, the free booty. <gasps> Come at me, bro. Stupid cobalt. I'm sure he's immune to magic mythos, though. Alright. No, Dumpy. Stay back. Oh, I should have cast protection from fear. That was definitely a mistake. I mean, I still can. Where's Justine? Wretched things. He's casting. Oh, don't go that way, Chase. Wait, how can Chase be feared? Oh. 
That makes no sense. Wow, she was just in range too. Um, if I seem a little distracted, it's because the baby's going nuts. I need a challenge. I wonder if you guys can hear it. I hope not. Right here, my friend. The AOE is pretty decent on that as well. Knowledge is the key to victory. Uh yeah, she should definitely not be able to get feared. Unless uh, Mr. Evil knows better. But she was definitely frightened there. I don't think she should be able to... She shouldn't be able to be frightened. Scared? You should be. Alright, let's move these fellas. Uh, ability to treat undead like humanoids? <laughs> oh, well, maybe. Actually, that might be it. Because he's a bone shaman. Mm, let's. Alright, never mind. I'll just have to resort to brute force! Wait, so you ignore for fear of me, but I don't know what the call will get. Boner Shaman, yeah. Maybe, maybe what Aram said is true. Like, maybe, but that would mean that they're quite high level, though. Oh, damn it. You forced my hand. I should have pre-cast this, actually. No, oh, no, wrong song. Alright, another channel. Try to keep our Dumpy alive. Although Dumpy's kind of out of spells right now, so he doesn't really need to stay alive. As long as he doesn't die, we're fine. Oh. Going at it like a true boss. All right, boys, I'm going to throw up a pause screen, right? I'm going to be back in just a second. Sorry about this, guys, but uh, I need to help out the wifey. This is a problem, boys. The hell spawn. Uh, 
Hello, Mr. Billy. Mr. Micro Billy. Why are you so unhappy, Mr. Huh? Why you don't want to go to sleep, sir? Why are you so unhappy? Huh? Tiny Billy? Look how sad he is. Poor boy. Oh, you like that, huh? What's Daddy doing? <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Trying to lock him in the dungeon. Yeah, he's getting upset again. Be back. Daddy. 